How's it going guys? Today we're going to be reviewing this Aw King projector and I, I hope I pronounced it right. I gave it a very nice try but I, I probably still mispronounced it. This is a really small projector that you guys could buy right now on Amazon for around $80. I will have an affiliate link down below if you guys just want to check it out while you guys watch this review on the projector. So whenever you guys buy it you guys will see a few things down here. It says 1080p and we'll get into that in just a little and then TV and PC obviously you guys could just plug whatever you guys want into this and it will just work now for this review we will be going into the actual quality and how bright it is so make sure you guys stay tuned for that the box is pretty simple which is probably what you would expect for a $80 projector it gives us some channel modes here and probably the most important one is the HDMI and VGA just because it has the HDMI does not mean it's actually capable of projecting at native 720p or 1080p but like I said we'll get into that when it comes they do state that there is a two-year warranty which is pretty cool and that's basically it let's go ahead and open it up and full disclaimer here, the projector is already mounted up my ceiling, so yeah, the projector's not in here. I'm not even gonna pretend. All right, when you open it up, you'll have something like this with some like bubble stuff that keeps the projector safe. What do you know? You'll have the power and HDMI cable in here, and then a user manual for special people like me, and then you also have this cable that basically is for ancient stuff. I forgot the actual name of this cable, but it's a yellow, red, and white. Um, yeah, feel free to let me know what that is down below because I completely forgot. Oh, I, component cables, I think. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. And that is basically it. And there's also a projector in here, but like I said, it's mounted in my ceiling. All right, so this projector claims it can project up to 170 inches, which is a pretty big display. I have it set up about 10 feet away from my wall and it is probably projecting anywhere from 90 to 100 inches. If I'm wrong on this, I will have something pop up here, but if I'm right, nothing will pop up. But yeah, obviously the bigger you guys get for your screen, the less bright it will be, and also the more you'll be able to see every individual pixel. So if you guys take your projector and you're only like five or six feet away from the wall, it'll be a smaller image, but crisper and brighter. So whenever you're on Amazon checking this out, you'll see some pretty flashy uh, numbers here. They say compatible with full HD 1080p, pretending like you're gonna be getting 1080p footage out of this thing. And yes, you can play 1080p footage, but it's not gonna be at 1080p. The native resolution, which is the actual resolution that it can project at, is actually 800 by 480, which is basically 480p. So just to put that into perspective, 1080p is 1920 by 1080 pixels, and this is 800 by 480. It's basically half the amount of pixels. So yes, it can play full HD stuff, but it's upscaling. You're not actually gonna be getting crisp images at a far distance away, but hey, it's an $80 projector, so you get what you pay for. The real reason we're making this video is to let you know if $80 is worth your time or not. Because for $80, you're not gonna buy a movie theater experience. Let's just be honest. So on their Amazon page, they claim that the brightness is 2600 lumens with a 2000 to one contrast ratio, brings you 35% brighter images than similar projectors in the market. These are all numbers that they just put down there. I don't know if they're true or not. It would take a lot of testing to see if that is accurate. This projector can go anywhere from 32 inches to 170 inches for a pretty decent sized screen. Low noise and long lamp life. They claim that this could last up to 55,000 hours. We will see about that. Not sure if I'm gonna have the projector for that long, but that's what they claim. In regards of the low noise, that is completely inaccurate. It does have a decent amount of noise, more than any projector I've ever had. I've had three and out of all three, this has been the loudest one, even though they claim that it has low noise. On the side, we have several ports. We have a SD card, we have a USB, we have HDMI and VGA. Then we also have some audio ports. There is a little leg thing on the bottom if you guys are interested in trying to get it at the perfect level without an actual projector stand. But I got a projector mount and it was pretty easy. I just screwed it into the bottom of this projector and it was easy as that. It was able to just hang on my ceiling. If you guys are interested in the mount that I used, I'll also have a link down below. So this projector does have a decent speaker, I will admit. 
it gets loud but the audio is not amazing but if you guys are just using this for your kids outside or something it should be loud enough for them to hear if not you guys could always use those audio ports on the side to hook up another speaker which is what i would personally recommend just because the speaker on this thing is loud but it's not high quality so we're about to turn this projector on i'm going to give you guys a little walkthrough and then after that i will give you my personal opinion on if it's worth 80 dollars or not so I just turned the projector on and you might be able to hear it already. So the first thing it greets you with is this like fake Apple menu for some reason. It is plugged into my computer right now, but it doesn't jump straight to it for some reason. So I have to click source and go up to HDMI. As soon as I go to the HDMI, I'm greeted with my monitor. And from a first glance, even in a fairly dark room, it is not too bright. But then again, I am about 10 feet away from the wall, which is a pretty decent length away from the wall. It would be interesting to actually test what the lumens are reading here, but I don't have the tool for that, unfortunately. Even though I have the projector mounted all the way up on my ceiling, I am able to get a pretty flat image on my wall. They have a little keystone corrector and I'm able to basically just decrease or increase the keystone just in vertical, not horizontal. From this distance, the quality isn't amazing. You can actually see every individual pixel but it's not too bad for the price. I personally just use it as something to play like background YouTube videos or podcast while I'm doing actual like work on my computer. It suits that purpose pretty well, but I will say for something that advertises for having a pretty quiet fan, it, it's pretty loud. But luckily for me, I always have music playing, so it's something that kind of gets drowned out. It does come with a pretty nice remote, I will say. It's a very similar remote to your Amazon Fire Stick, and it gives you all your volume controls and a menu and the directional arrows. And of course the on and off and it does come with batteries so that is a plus if you guys go to the menu it gives you a bunch of options to actually change the color temperature or the aspect ratio you can also reduce the display size so if you guys are as far back as me you're able to decrease it a little to make sure that it fits where you want you can only turn it to 75 percent so if you guys are trying to make it any smaller than that it's not going to do any more there's some settings for the sound the clock and then this page is pretty cool because if you mount your projector like me, you're able to rotate it upside down. So any way that you guys have your projector set up, you guys will be able to make sure it is shooting the way you want. That is basically it for the settings. And let's go back to the actual screen. So here's some example footage that I was able to record for you. I did make sure that my room had no lights on when I recorded this so that you guys could get the full experience but whenever you guys turn on the lights, it's a little bit more like this. My personal opinion on this projector is, I think it's a little misleading with the title. The title is just going on and on about it being 1080p, when in reality, it's 480p at best. Almost every projector company does this as well, and it's pretty aggravating, and I think I fell for it. But for $80, I don't think you could do much better than this. It's not the best quality projector, but hey, you're paying a tenth of the price of a TV, so, it's kind of worth it. So that is my review of the Aw King projector. I hope you guys enjoyed it and were able to get something out of it. If you guys did, make sure you guys slap that like button down below and consider subscribing if you enjoy stuff like this. Like always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And without any further ado, I'll see you guys on the next video.